YouTube, this is Lee, this is Reef to Reef channel. Um, just bring this video today to you on uh, salt and salt mixing. Um, so um, the first thing you're going to need obviously is your um, reverse osmosis water and uh, check those TDS levels that are zero. Once you've done that then you're going to need your salt and just mix up the salt bucket before you open it and just let it breathe for a second before you start going down there to mix up the salt. So this is what I do for my salt mixing. Uh, it's very easy and very straightforward. Obviously, I've got my salt here. Yeah, just make sure it's, uh, it's been sh shaken before you use it uh, to free up any particles. Because, uh, you know, obviously salt's got uh, mix mixes in there of alkalinity, magnesium, calcium, and so forth. So you just wanna make sure all those ions and everything are mixed up and good to go. So the main thing I use to do my salt is a funnel. You can get buy that from any hardware store for a couple of pounds, um, and that's going to drop straight into my RO water. Um, and then I use a uh, measuring beaker um, because once you get a way of measuring your salt, um, at the beginning I was just adding little bits here and there, and there is some directions on the back of the uh, container. Um, but for me, I used one of these. So I will fill this to the top and pour in, and then a third here each time. And that mixes up 1.026. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna work for everyone the same, but if you've got a 25 liter drum, okay, which I'm gonna take 25 liters out of the tank into another container, which is the dirty water, obviously, um, then, then make sure that each time that your level is correct. Now, the level on this is a little bit higher on the RO, it should have been around here, but I've put the exact main amount of uh, salt in, um, because sometimes it mixes up 1.027, 1.026, so it's pretty much accurate, and I will test it a few times. Once you've poured the salt in, you want to put the lid on and shake the container up for a couple of minutes. Okay, it's not difficult, you can do that on the floor just by rocking the handle back and forth. Once you've done that, as you can see, I've got an air stone here, okay, air stone pump that will just basically aerate, aerate this and uh, make sure that the salt is mixed up. And I'll run that for at least two or three hours. And, and then I'll check the salinity and then obviously do my water change. Um, so hopefully you like this video today. Um, the other key factors I just wanted to point out was if you're buying your salt pre-mixed from the store, just to make sure that it is what they're saying, you know, so is it RO water? Take your TDS meter, you can test it, you're paying for the water, you know, so I've tested before and their levels were 1.0, sorry, their TDS was through the roof at like 150, 200. Um, it's crazy, you know, and then they did, did the salt mix. Uh, most of the time it was 1.026. And then a few times I got home and it was 1.028, 1.030. So this is way too high for a reef tank, you know. So, um, you know, double check what you're buying. So, um, if you've not already done this, guys, just buy yourself an RO machine. You know, uh, reverse osmosis is the system. They're relatively cheap. And then buy your salt and mix that from home. You don't know when you're going to need it for a water change or, you know, just to make sure you know what you're putting in your tank. It will last you today like please and subscribe and i'll be making some more videos shortly thank you bye, -bye.